This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Priorities, we've all got them, and that's why we all wish we had more time. But how the heck do you prioritize? With a little therapy from BetterHelp, you can discover what really matters and make your time count. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, it's convenient, and it's flexible so that you can prioritize your schedule. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And you know what? If it's not the right fit, you can switch therapists at any time for no charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Full House and do it today to get 10% off with your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Full House. Make it a priority today. All of us here at Full House Rewind know how much you love follow buttons, so we put one right there. Yep, that that's it, uh-huh. Yeah, because we love when you follow us, so go over to Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts and hit that follow button right there. Yeah, that, that's the one. Go ahead, do it, do it. I'll wait, I'll wait. Welcome to episode 18 of Full House Rewind. I'm your host, Dave Coulier. And today, our guest is a very talented, funny actress. You know her from Full House, Fuller House, and that girl, Lele, on Nickelodeon. She also co-hosts a very successful podcast with someone else I love, Jody Sweeten, called How Rude Tanneritos. But you know her best as Kimmy Gibbler. Here's a picture of Andrea when Full House was on the air, and it's going to be adorable. Aw, mm -hmm. look at that picture. <laughs> Andrea Barber. So thanks for coming back. Of course, Dave. I can't get enough of you. Oh, so I, I just had what? to come back, sit on this wonderful couch. And I'm wearing another green shirt for you. I, cha I changed into our season two wrap gift. Yes. The cardigan. See, it's got two stripes I know. for the second Those were season. Those cool. These were, I wore this all, I have so many pictures of myself as a child wearing this exact cardigan cool. and then my black hat. Those were yeah. for, from Tom and Bob and Jeff, right? Yeah. That yeah. was our little season gift. Season gift. We got good gift. gifts, like cool jackets. I remember the gifts being really cool. I should wear some of those. You should. I have some. I'll start wearing them on the show. Okay. Yeah. You should. Or if you have like mugs, I should have brought you a mug. Any yes. of the wrap gift mugs? Um, yeah, we always had cool stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, I remember when, was it Mary-Kate and Ashley and they got bikes one year? Jody got a bike the Jody first got a bike. season. That's right. The first Christmas. Um, do you remember when you gave lobsters to the whole cast? I did. I, I had lobsters. <laughs> Live flown, lobsters. Live lobsters flown in from Boston. <laughs> Legal Seafood was the name of the place. There's a plug. <laughs> um, but I, uh, but I flew lobsters in for yeah. everybody. And it was like, you, I opened the package and I was like, it's it was, a live lobster, like a live. It was a live lobster. We had to cook <laughs> lobsters, but yeah. I remember the, I remember the writers talking about that. Um, uh, we'll, we'll get, let, we're going to get into get all into that, that stuff. Let's the live lobsters. That. We got so much to talk we got about. We a lot to talk about. Because first we're going to talk about episode number 18, you and I, mm -hmm. also known as just one of the guys. Oh, such a good uh, one. This episode was directed by Lee Shallot. Do you remember Lee Shallot? Um, not specifically, but I do know it was one of the few female she directors we had. She was our first female uh, director on yeah. the show, and this episode aired on March 4th, 1988. Ah. So you ready to give us the rundown on what this uh, episode's about? Oh, absolutely. Let's do it. Because I got it. tons of stuff to talk to you about. Okay, so DJ is jealous of the guys when her cousin comes for a visit and spends most of his time roughhousing with Danny. Roughhousing with Danny. Oh, yeah. That would be a series. Roughhousing with Danny. Roughhousing with Danny. <laughs> you can only imagine how Bob would uh, make that R-rated. Yes. <laughs> Roughhousing with Danny on Netflix. <laughs> um, now we're going to describe. Uh, okay. Describe. We're going to describe. Describe. We're going to describe what's happening in the episode together. Okay. And I'm going to start us off. Who? What voice is this? It's a Frenchman. It's almost oh. like... Uh, Kind of like the Pink Panther, oh. but different. Keto, I know you're around here somewhere. Mm. Did you ever see those movies? Yeah, I did see those movies. Because on the last episode, you and I, you hadn't watched Napoleon Dynamite. No, that killed like 30% of did the jokes. You, did you watch it yet? 
You haven't seen it yet? No, you have I have not watch watched it, it yet. No. You have to watch Napoleon okay. Dynamite. Next time, if you ever have me back again. I will, then just I will. so I can do Napoleon okay. Dynamite impressions. We'll and review land. Napoleon Dynamite instead of Full House. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. That would be a great podcast. Uh, hey, there yes, you go. Yes, a Dynamite podcast. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Ooh, hey. Hey now. Hey, don't hey. steal that idea. That's don't Dave's make idea. Make sure you edit that out because I want that one. <laughs> Um, okay, you ready to describe what happened? I'm ready. Episode 18 opens in the kitchen with Jesse, Joey, and Michelle. The guys are measuring Michelle for a new outfit that Grandma is going to make. <laughs> and she's so, <laughs> the little butterball, her little belly. Those little chubby legs. so she was, cute. I know. They were uh, such cute kids. Cannot get enough of Michelle and you guys trying to parent her. It's yes, adorable. It was adorable. It was so cute. Uh, in the living room, DJ tells Kimmy that she can't go to the bake sale because she's waiting for her cousin, Steve, who she hasn't seen in a couple of years. Last time she saw him, he had glasses, braces, and zits. <laughs> Steve <laughs> enters, and he has grown up to be quite a hunk. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, so then uh, <laughs> Danny enters and tells the girls that Steve's been offered a baseball scholarship to Stanford. Jesse, Joey, and Michelle enter and meet Steve. The guys decide to go and play some hoops while DJ, Kimmy, and Steph stay home to watch Michelle. Uh, baseball scholarship to Stanford, that's, that's a big deal. That's, that's a, a big deal. huge deal. That never registered with me at the time when no. we were doing the house. Like, wait a second, Kirk Cameron looks like a, a baseball star at Stanford? Well, he was a jock. He had the Letterman's he jacket. Did. He, he did. plays football in this episode. So I think he's just the all-around American jock. Okay, back to the show. Okay, back All to right, the show. Here we go. The girls make lunch in the ki kitchen, and the guys return home from the hoop game. They go into the living room to watch the Lakers game. Joey and Jesse start betting on the game. Joey is winning all the bets when it's discovered that he watched the game earlier in the day and recorded it. Uh, it's one of my favorite bits <laughs> is when John hits you on the head with the VCR tape. Yeah, well, He's like, you're going to die. Yeah. It's so funny. I know. He that hit me in the head a lot. It's a, lot. a running thing throughout. Yeah. Like I never let him seasons. stand behind me because he would always go yeah. like that. I'm like, John, we're not doing the show anymore. <laughs> like, stop it. Quit, to, you know, we're not playing characters now. And he would go, shut up. No, and he'd you hit guys me in the were, head again. You were clearly friends on screen and off screen. And we that should. chemistry just shined. We through. all should. We should do, we have to do fullest house. We really do. I, I, I'm in. nothing's stopping me. I'm, I'm just in. waiting for a phone call. I'm in. Yeah. Fullest house. And it's Bob all even of us. talked about how he put his urn on put the it, fireplace <laughs> mantle. The fireplace. He would give us he, a blessing. He said that. Yeah. He, he actually said that to yeah. us. So now we have to do it. Like we seem insensitive for saying that, but no, that's Bob's idea. That it we was his idea. Because he was very dark about himself. Oh, yeah. That's how you get through <laughs> tough times, you know? <laughs> I, Okay. But back to the show. Uh, where are we? Okay. Uh, it's me. Uh, yes. So Michelle starts crying upstairs, and Steve and DJ go to help her. DJ asks Steve if he'd like to go ice skating, but he's already got plans with Danny. Mm. We can all see that DJ is very disappointed as she tries to make more plans with Steve. DJ gives Michelle a bottle and pours her heart out about her cousin Steve. In the living room, Jesse and Joey try to teach DJ how to play football. Joey catches a pass and mistakenly spikes his sandwich on the floor. <laughs> Later at the park, everyone joins in for a friendly game of touch football. Mm -hmm. DJ <laughs> aggressively tackles Steve, putting an end to the game. Mm -hmm. DJ is feeling down and Danny goes to console her. Danny explains that Steve has grown up and has become a young man. Now back at the house, Steve enters DJ's room. DJ tells Steve that the reason she tackled him was because she was mad at him. DJ's upset. DJ's upset. DJ's upset. She's still upset. Yes. <laughs> they fetch things up and decide to start over by planning a day of ice skating together. The scene and the show end with a hug, and DJ is no longer upset. upset. <laughs> Oh, man, that's I episode 18. This. this was such a great episode. It was such a great episode. Now, Kirk Cameron was on the show, and he was our guest star. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Kimmy is really fawning over him, and he was already a big star from Growing Pains. Oh, I mean, huge. Huge, right? Yeah. Yeah, when he when he walks into the front door and says, greetings from Baltimore. Right. 
the audience goes wild. And I had never seen that from a guest star yeah. yet on the show. Oh, yeah. Because we were so new. And then he walks in and I went, wow, the power of being on a hit show. Maybe someday mm. that'll be us, you know. Um, you were so smitten by his character mm -hmm. uh, in that episode. Were you really smitten by him, though? A little it looked bit. pretty real. I, 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 yeah, a little bit. I was definitely starstruck because I knew yeah. he was in all like the Tiger Beat magazines, the right. Bop mag, like all of the the teen magazines. Um, and I knew he was Candace's brother, so I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, I got a crush on him. I was still pretty young, but I was definitely starstruck just knowing what a big star he was. And then I got to slap his butt all throughout the episode. You did slap his butt yeah. a few times in the episode. You I, were, I you're kind of a butt slapping person, though. Yeah. 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 I, I do think that Steve should have uh, taken out a restraining order against Kimmy because she went a little <laughs> too far. A little too far in with that the butt episode. slaps. But, I don't uh, think you could butt fun. slap like that today. No. Not that many times. Well, no, you can't do that today. Not, not at in all? 2024. Not, no. Not even in character. Like, what if you? What if you and I write a show together? And there's one character that just always butt slaps. As long, you'd have to get a release form. Just get a, a consent. Form. It's all about consent. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Priorities, we've all got them. And that's why we all wish we had more time. But how the heck do you prioritize? With a little therapy from BetterHelp, you can discover what really matters and make your time count. If you're thinking of starting therapy, Give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, convenient, and it's flexible so that you can prioritize your schedule. I was a little leery of getting therapy, I gotta be honest, but once I received just a little bit of counseling, you know what? It made all the difference in the world. My, uh, my empty well started to fill up again, and I made a lot of progress in a very short time. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you know what? If it's not the right fit, you can switch therapists at any time for no charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash full house and do it today to get 10% off with your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash full house. Make it a priority today. So as long as there's a form that's been signed. I have a butt rider. Yeah. A butt, a butt rider in my contract. There you go. <laughs> um, so do you remember Chelsea Noble, Kirk's wife in real life? She yeah. guest starred on the episode before this one. Right. Is that how? Talk about, talk about serendipitous. Do you remember her dating John ever? I, I don't remember that, but I've asked John about that. Yeah. And I didn't realize, is that how John and Chelsea, no, is that how Kirk and Chelsea met? It was I, on the set of I Full House? I don't know if it was on the set of Full House. Because it was right around that time that or, John and Chelsea broke up. Yeah. And a couple but, years later, I, but, Kirk and Chelsea get married. But John started dating Chelsea, because we went to Hawaii together, a bunch of us. Yeah. And Chelsea was there. Oh, okay. And so she was fun. She was always oh, yeah. a, so nice, so so much fun. And so was Very Kirk. Very sweet. You know, oh, yeah. They were just nice, you know, so I could see Absolutely. how those two ended up together. Yeah. Um, but I just wondered if you had remembered those two, uh, John and Chelsea dating. Oh. I was too young. I wasn't Probably. hip on the, the dating, you know, who was dating who. Yeah. You were in class. I was in school. You were in school. I was in school, in school, and I only came out to slap Kirk's butt and then go back to school. <laughs> that, was it. that was my whole purpose. You, you know, you could have gone on a spinoff where you played the character Slappy. Slappy. Yeah. Slappy, Slappy. Gibbler. <laughs> Slappy Gibbler. <laughs> yes. Hey, Gibbler's hair. Whap. <laughs> Did she just slap my butt? Yes. <laughs> Um, are Did we going to get in trouble just for talking about this now? No. This could, I signed the release form. Oh, we okay. can talk about this. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. fine. Um, Did you know that uh, Barbara Cameron and Robert Cameron are in the background of the park scene? They, they're the park goers that walk by and sit on a bench and Robert like throws a ball, like what, the football oh, back to us. Oh, man. You can't really see their faces, but I, you can definitely oh, tell it's Robert who has the same stature as Kirk. You so did your homework. I wow, did. you watched episode 18. See, that yeah. one slipped right by me. Well, that's okay. You, that's had, a good you catch. had a lot a lot to review. So That's a that's a good catch though. I didn't Nobody I else didn't, would know that. Because the moms and the dads, we snuck them in here and there yes. a lot on oh, the show. Yeah. yeah. I remember your parents were in. Your yes. parents were in. My mom, uh, my episodes. mom, all the moms were in um where you guys are like your bachelors for auction. 
Oh, and so they yeah. were bidding They're, on you right. at they the bachelor bidding. auction. That's so right. I don't know what season that is, but yeah, um, I'm eager either, to watch that yeah, one too. I'll, I'll see that one when I go and review that episode. Yeah. Um, can can we talk about the some of these years after Full House? Sure. Because um, you went to college, mm -hmm. right? Um, did you go to college in Orange County? Uh, was it right? Am I right? Uh, right on the border of Orange County, LA County. I went to Whittier College, Whittier, which okay. is a small private liberal arts college. Richard right. Nixon went there, which they, they took the banner down announcing that back in the Watergate days. Um, but no, I actually went to, I was going to college part-time during that final season of Full House, season eight. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would take one or two classes at Whittier so College. So you were 18? Yeah, I was 18. 18? I was okay. 18. I didn't need a guardian anymore. I was driving, driving myself. Driving yourself to work. Oh, yeah. This was a huge change. Yeah. As a child star, I'm like, whoa. Big responsibilities. What were you studying there? Uh, English. Really? I speak it so well. Don't, you like, do? I, I speak it so well. Man, it's a good thing you went to college for <laughs> <I> that. <did. laughs> no, I studied English literature. Um, so it took me five years to graduate because... To learn you know, English again? To learn English again. <laughs> but it was such a good... It was such good timing for me because we were ending Full House, and instead of being super sad about it, which I was because mm -hmm. I was going to miss all of you guys, I moved right into the dorm. I fully immersed myself in college life, and I felt like I, I could just be a student and only a student for the first time in my life. That's really good. So yeah. it was great. Yeah. It filled my soul in ways I didn't I'll expect. Bet. I'll bet. And then you graduate from college. A couple more years go by. You start a family. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. You had your two kids, right? Tate, Tate and, Felicity. and Felicity. Yeah, right? yeah. And did you think about acting anymore at that point? No, I was done. I had retired. I was really? like, done. I mean, I started acting when I was five, so I was kind of like, eh. and it's a grind. Like, it's great when you have a show yeah. and you have regular employment and you right. love the people you're working with, just Absolutely. like Full House yep. was. But then when you're not employed and you're just doing the audition grind and you're just... You're putting yourself out there. It's a mind game. You know, it messes with yeah. your mind about like, well, why didn't they pick me or why? And it what, takes what's a wrong lot of with work. me? Yeah. It's it a lot takes of work. so much work to be like ready for an audition. You got to be so armed and ready to go in there and just kill it, you yeah. know? And, and unless you're doing that every day of your life and treating it like a job, it's tough. It, it's tough. It's, it's tough, especially when you're like, okay, come on in. This is for the network. Okay, boom. Well, and then you if know. you're sitting in the hallway and you got your sides, and you can hear the actor before you in there. You're like, you're questioning all your choices oh, suddenly. Yeah. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I've done it all wrong. Yeah, I would so, hear I would hear guys before me getting laughs. And I go, oh, oh this guy's killing it. They right? love this guy. And then like, if I didn't get a laugh on my first line, I'm like, no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That guy got I it. I better quit. No, yeah. it is it is hard <laughs> on the self esteem. So I I was done. I was like, nope. Went to college, got married, um, had my babies. I stayed home with them for 10 years, Yeah, uh, almost 10 years. And then I got a call from Jeff Franklin who said, I got an idea for a reboot. Are you willing to come back and be Kimmy Gibbler? But before you got that call, you and I did a <gasps> funny or die sketch oh, yes! where Kimmy and Joey are married. That is right. That but, was so weird that and That was weird fun. and funny. I got to kiss you. That That's was right. so weird That's right. and fun. It was weird and fun, <laughs> but it was funny. I How wore a bad wig. You wore a bad wig and like a bad sweater cardigan. Yes. Um, I think I had like a barrette. I had some sort of 90s gear yeah, on. Yeah, check out that sketch somewhere. Uh, just uh, Google it. It's 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 out there, I'll it's, guarantee it's you. It's from 2012, so it's been about wow. 12 years Wow. since we did that. How did that come up? Did you call me and say, hey? Yeah, I, I thought, come oh, do this sketch. somebody said, hey, do you want to do a sketch for Funny or Die? And I said, yeah. And then I thought this idea. I said, what if Joey and Kimmy got married? Wouldn't that be... Funny. Oh, yeah. And they said, oh, my gosh, we love that idea. <laughs> and then we went and we, we did that, that sketch. So that, that was, was the funny. first time that we got to play our characters again after all those years. I know. So then you get this call from Jeff. Can I just say one thing? Sure. Um, when I think about the, the Full House reboot, you and Candace and Jody were like Danny, Jesse, and Joey. I, it mm -hmm. was remarkable, mm -hmm. and I I got to see it all kind of all un, unfold. And I'm not sure Jeff Franklin, when he gave you that call, that that was, you know, something that was predetermined. Yeah. I don't think that that was something that was deliberate, right? No, I think the farthest he got at that point in those early days was he knew that DJ was going to be widowed. 
Mm -hmm. and have three boys. So it was the inverse of Full House. Right. Um, And I think that at first he was going to have her pregnant pregnant while the husband died but then and then he was like that is way too sad to start out a series with a death while the, while right. the mom's giving birth right so that's why they said okay well tommy is going to be nine months or whatever he ended up being right um so yeah i knew it was going to be the inverse but yeah i didn't i didn't quite put it together until we started shooting the show that oh i'm i'm the joey and you guys were so remarkably funny. It was just, um, I was so happy for you guys that you got to play those scenes together where, you know, you especially, you know, the scene I remember is where you're chopping something in the kitchen and you're doing like a, you know, a Benny Hanna guy. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that scene? Oh, oh, I loved you were that so, scene. You were so funny in that. And I just thought, oh my gosh, Andrea is just, because you are naturally talented, funny. And you can't so sweet. that you, you can't really teach somebody that you either kind of have that as a skill and you're able to use it and you know apply it when you when you need to or you don't and you you definitely had that. Oh yeah. well, thank you. It was that, nice. I had to learn the hibachi skills because they couldn't find a stunt double or they could they brought in hibachi guys and they were going to use his hands. Right. But he was this large man <laughs> with different colored skin and I have a t- tiny you know female hands. So I was like, well, just teach me. I'll do it. And right. so he taught me some basic skills. Like I wasn't actually cooking, but I was just right. moving food around. And so I was like, great. This is, I learned some new skills and got to do it. And you so got fun. to apply a new skill because you wrote a script for Fuller House. I did. It was a funny I script because I was there. College I tours. Was, I was directing an episode and then I got to be there on the same day when, when you guys were reading your episode. Oh, cool. And I remember being so happy for you because it got tons of laughs. It did. It did. I, 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 that was a dream come true to be able to do that. It's very different than I was expecting. In what the, way? The process that the script goes through. I mean, it starts months in advance. As yeah. actors, you know, you show up to the table read and you're like, oh, did they just write this last night? Like, right. you have no idea exactly. how many months and months of preparation... Um, and then it has to go to the studio for approval and then they give notes and you rewrite it again and then it goes to the network and then they give notes and you rewrite it again. Right. Then you go around the writer's room and they're all just pitching new jokes and punching it up. Um, so yeah, I wrote the first draft, but then it was a, it was a team effort for all the writers to big, punch it up. It was up. big laughs. And then I directed an episode where you got big laughs Oh. and it was like this huge episode. It was called the nutcracker oh, and my it was favorite. It was my first episode directing it was a big episode too. it was a huge episode we had choreography that we had to work through we had like a cutaway to an audience that's watching you yeah we yeah. had dancing we had music we had special effects mm-hmm. i had uh christmas ornaments babies <laughs> animals and jeff franklin i remember he said well, you got a whopper of an episode. And I said, all right, trial by fire. Here we go. That was ambitious. But I remember when you were doing the Nutcracker and you were in, you know, full Nutcracker. Uh, you played the mouse. The, the mouse. Yeah, the mouse. The rat, the rat king. The rat king. Yeah. Right? This episode is sponsored by Better Help. Priorities. We've all got them. And that's why we all wish we had more time. But how the heck do you prioritize? With a little therapy from BetterHelp, you can discover what really matters and make your time count. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, convenient, and it's flexible so that you can prioritize your schedule. I was a little leery of getting therapy, I gotta be honest, but once I received just a little bit of counseling, you know what? It made all the difference in the world. My, uh, my empty well started to fill up again and I made a lot of progress in a very short time. You just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist, and you know what, if it's not the right fit, you can switch therapists at any time for no charge. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash full house and do it today to get 10% off with your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash full house. Make it a priority today so you play the rat king and i remember giving you one direction where the rat king dies Mm -hmm. and i said i want you to do like curly from the three stooges the leg (laughs) the leg kicks remember yes (laughs) and and you're like curly from the three stooges leg kicks and i said let me show you so i got down on the ground and did curly 
leg kicks yeah. for you. And then you did them and it got a big laugh. And I was like, oh, oh. yeah. She takes direction so well. Oh, I loved having you as a director. You were just such a good note. Like you give great notes. They are so on point. That's exactly what I needed to make that scene work was the leg kick. Because I've gotten a few notes in my uh, in my got a few notes, just a few, just a few in your in day. my time. <laughs> in my time, I just want to tell you how much fun I wanted everybody to know how much fun. Andrea is to direct because it was just, it's like dream actor. It's like, Hey, here's a funny thing. Will you try it? And you, and you'll try anything, which is great. That's what you want from an actor, especially, you know, uh, doing comedy. Yeah. Well, it's years of you being know. Kimmy Gibbler. I, a long time ago, I was just like, you know what? You got to give a hundred percent. You can't phone it in. If you're going to be Kimmy Gibbler, you have to commit yes. and just go for it and yeah. don't be embarrassed. And so that's what I did. Uh, I want to switch gears a little bit okay. here because David Arnold was a writer producer mm -hmm. on Full, Fuller House mm -hmm. and he was such a great guy. He, I had so many oh. nice conversations and with him and um, he created the show that you're on. Um, that girl, that Lele. girl, Lele. Mm -hmm. And he died so young at the age of 54. And yeah. I just, how did you guys as a cat, because it was kind of sudden. Oh, like it, it was, was the night before an episode. Right. That he was supposed to be, he was going to be in the episode as an actor, as well as being the showrunner. Because uh, he was a funny stand-up. Oh, he was really hysterical. hysterical. You can see guy. his specials on Netflix. And yeah. he was How did just, you guys make your way through that? It was hard. Well, that we took about six weeks off. Um First, in the in the days immediately after his passing, we gathered on the on the set, and it was during there were still all these COVID restrictions, yeah. so we had to wear masks, and we were crying through our masks, which was very strange. But it was so cathartic just to hug our other cast members and crew, and just cry together yeah. and remember him. And his lovely wife Julie and his two girls came by. I mean, yeah. this is two days after he passed, oh, and they came and just hugged, and we were just together, grieving together. Yeah, um, it was it was really hard. Yeah. It was yeah. really hard. Because that happened with us too on Fuller House, remember? With Marsh. Yes. We lost we Marsh lost McCall. Marsh McCall uh suddenly. Yeah, that he, was another he, like very over the weekend random, like kind of thing. I think he was know? just at Jeff's house a couple days prior at one of Jeff's get togethers yeah, yeah. and then by Monday morning he was gone. That happened to me when I was working on doing voices on the Muppet Babies. Really? And Jim Henson passed away. Oh. <gasps> And he was our leader. And oh, it was man. just like, what? And he got some kind of rogue virus, and I think, and, and just boom, gone. So it was like, that. that's hard to recover from when your leader is suddenly, boom, gone. It's you jarring. Yeah. It's jarring, and it just it throws you off balance, and um, it takes a while before you feel like yourself again. But that's why it's important to have people... Like you, like you and our cast, that's how we've gotten through the last <laughs> two years Laughing. of Without Bob, yeah, you know, it's sharing okay. our grief together. Let's switch gears. You want to switch gears? Okay. Can you explain uh, in a in a clean way, can you explain debit or credit to our audience? Oh, sure. Okay. Yes. That's our thing. That that's is. You. Yeah. I know it is. I don't um, know who started it, me I or feel you. Like I you did. I feel like I started it. You did. Um, but then you took it to a whole... New height to a whole new. You took it a whole new. <laughs> so debit or credit is so. <laughs> I was standing, I was standing on stage one day. Uh, was it during Fuller House or before? This was. This must have been Fuller House because I don't think Fuller I did this House. as a child. I think no. this was adult. <laughs> no, area. I would have thought you were a very weird kid if you would have come up and done debit or credit. True, to me. true. So okay. I'm goofing so around on the set mm -hmm. and take it away. So I walk up behind you. <laughs> and we're always like in the middle of scenes, we're always like poking each other in the yeah, back or doing, doing like silly, silly stuff. trying to get yeah. each other to laugh or break during yeah. the scenes. So I came up to you and I just slid my hand up your butt. But <laughs> with, yeah, I mean, you were wearing jeans, so it's not like I got very far, but I just did a whoosh, and it was like a, like a card reader, Cre credit or debit. Credit or debit. And I just, <laughs> I, and then I turned around and you were laughing and I just said, did you just do debit or credit yeah. on my butt crack? And you were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, it's like a credit card. And credit or debit. Said, okay. That's brilliant. <laughs> uh, I'm going with it, you know? And that's been our running thing. And it is. Ever and since. I, and I, I, that's why I never, you know, I, I always, if you're in the room, I always kind of look over the shoulder. You never so I don't know get what you're going to get. Or, uh, you haven't done it to me yet. So today, not, that not I'm, today, no, not today. Well, not today. 
you better watch out. So I might be doing a chip reader. You better not <laughs> cry. <laughs> you better watch out. I'm telling you why. Debitor credits come in to town. Well, now they've got the ch- they've got the tap. Chip. Like you can just tap you can your tap. credit card. So yeah. maybe I'll just tap you. Give me the and Kirk that's, Cameron. Yeah, the little Kirk Cameron the tap. Ch- tap. Yeah. You know Apple what? Pay. It always comes back to Full House. It, it everything always it comes does. back it to does. a Full House episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, we. Uh, we lost Bob. Yeah. And uh, Bob means so much and so many different things to so many people. But he really was the glue that kind of held us together, all of us, yeah. in, in Bob's crazy, crazy way. Uh, what's like the one thing you'll take away? Because we get to relive Bob every day, I like love, just like we're doing right now. Yeah. With fullest house coming to a, a tablet near you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, he he will live on forever because of all of his childish, silly idiosyncrasies that we just love. Yeah. No, we, we talk about him every time we're together. And yeah. I know he is thrilled. He's thrilled that He's absolutely he thrilled. is a topic of conversation every time yeah. we hang out together. And, and I keep him alive doing this show just because he's so much a part of all of this. Yeah. And, you know, he was kind of the... He was kind of like your grandmother who keeps all the grandkids together Aww. and just kind of, you know, and he would love yeah. that I said grandmother. Oh, yeah. Um, Not grandfather. Because I would, Bob loved it because I would tell people that he was my filthy sister. <laughs> I, have you met my filthy sister, Bob? And he loved that. He goes, Dave, who am I? And I'm like, oh, this is Bob. He goes, no, who am I? And I go, oh, this is my filthy sister, Bob. Aww. He goes, you can call me your filthy Jewish sister if you want. I go, <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I do that? He goes, yeah. I go, okay. Here's my filthy Jewish sister, Bob. Oh. But um, yeah, I He's... I will forever keep him, you know, alive in my mind and my heart, and with uh, all the Full House fans because he was like no other, mm-hmm. like no other. The 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 silver lining to Bob passing so early in his life is that we get to hear such an outpouring of support. Like Mm -hmm. so many people have talked about what he meant to them, like our fans. He was like a surrogate dad to some people. Yeah. You know, and he was Bob to us. Like, I I don't know if I'd call him an uncle or a father figure or like he was just Bob. Like there's no name to describe who he was. I call him a filthy sister. He's your filthy sister, (laughs) right? (laughs) Yeah, I met Bob when I was 18 in Detroit doing stand-up, you know. I mean, I was a kid when I met Bob and I just... uh, I thought this is the most immature human being I've ever seen other than myself. Yeah. And uh, I love this guy. Aww. Yeah. Um, I have been a guest on your podcast with Jody. It's wonderful oh, it, for those of you such a good time who haven't you. seen it or listened to it. It's called, uh, go ahead, plug time. How rude, Tanneritos. How rude, Tanneritos. Please, please watch it. Um, what's next? What do you, what do you want to do? You know, if, I mean, because you're, you're back. No, we're not letting you go now. You're, you're not, not letting gonna, me. We're, we're not letting you go back to college. Well, I so, keep trying to leave this business every, you know, every, every 10 years. I'm, like, I'm leaving go. this business again. I don't. We're, we're not letting you go. You're too funny. You got too much more stuff to do. Let's do the you, Joey and Kimmy spinoff. Oh, there we go. We don't have to kiss or anything. No, we're not going to be married. We're not going to no, be married. No. I did love. Living in sin. Is that what you're. Saying? No, but I loved the scene in Fuller House where Joey throws an engagement yes. party for the girls. Yes. And you and I meet in a closet because Kimmy's upset. Right. Because her parents aren't coming. Kimmy's upset. Because her parents aren't coming to her <laughs> wedding. And that was one of my favorite scenes of the entire series yeah, of Fuller House because you and I had we, that genuine connection. I don't think we, and I think we said to each other when we were back there, I don't think Joey and Kimmy have ever done a solo scene together. No, never. That was it. That that was the one. It was a nice, yeah, that was a really nice moment. I remember that vividly. You it, know? it gets me every time. I watched it too to prepare for this. Oh. And um, I watched it again and it gets me every time when you offer to walk me down the aisle. Yes. And Kimmy just gets so emotional. She's like, really? It's like, you are the family. You're the family that she never had. You know, yeah. the tanners. That was a special, nice, nice little moment. Yeah. Um, so, well, we'll talk about the spinoff more. Okay. You know, after we do, we're going to have to do Fuller House or Fullest House. Fullest House, right. Fullest House. Um, and then we're going to have to do the, the 
we'll talk about the how credit Joe, or debit show. Yeah, right. cre the credit or debit. The credit yes. or debit show. Credit or and credit. I'll be debit. You be credit. <laughs> I'll be credit. I'll be credit. <laughs> um, we. Uh, you want to play a little game? Oh yeah, please. Okay, all right. Let's do um, it. Uh, this is a game called TV and Movie Siblings. Mm. All right. Uh, in episode okay. 18, Cam Candace's brother, Kirk Cameron, mm -hmm. uh, is our special guest star. So we're going to show you some famous actors and actresses. Okay. And we're going to see if um, you can name one of their siblings. Oh. You just have to name one. Oh, man. I was really bad okay. the last time we did a game, and, so I'm uh, a little nervous yeah, about so this. We're going <laughs> we're gonna, uh, we're gonna to see uh, just how many you can get. Um, but uh, you're probably still going to win a prize. If I don't win, I'm just taking the mannequin and I'm oh, going home. Yes. Okay. You can take you can take all the equipment. Like this is a really nice mic. Okay. You can take that. The camera Great. over there. You can take yeah, any I'm of those cameras. All, I'm going to take all, all yeah, of this. Our producer just has steam coming out of his. <laughs> what did he just give away one of the cameras? All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Of course, okay. you know who this is. Oh yeah, Alec Baldwin. Can you name one of his siblings? Uh, another Baldwin. It's uh, <laughs> Alec Baldwin and um, Peter Baldwin. No. Um, okay, I'll rhymes with zillium. Oh, William Baldwin. Yes, William Billy, Baldwin. Billy Baldwin. Billy Baldwin. Yeah, okay. see, it doesn't take much to get take you much. back on zillium. track. Zillium. Yes, All thanks right, for the hint. All right, here we go. All right, now you know who this is. <laughs> oh, Ben Savage. Yes. Fred Savage. This Fred is Savage. my generation. Yes, this there you go. TGIF, ding, 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 the, ding, ding, yeah, ding. Wonder Years. Yeah, okay. this is Boy I don't Meets know if World. You're gonna, I don't know if you're going to get this one, but she has um, two very famous siblings. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, is that? That's an Olsen. That's Elizabeth Olsen. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't get that, <laughs> ding, 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 She's ding, got, ding, ding. Now, who are her siblings? Elizabeth uh, Olsen. Uh, yes. Little ding, known, ding, little ding, ding, known ding. fashion you, stars. I know. And you know what? <laughs> I don't care what anybody says. You are a winner. And you get another, I don't know who you're going to give these to, but you get another oh, yay! cut it out shirt, oh. a different colored one. Yeah. And I'll add a, my, to my collection. Cut it out, cut it out hat. Well, Maybe thank Tate you. or oh, Felicity. Yeah. My will, kids will swipe this will, right will away. Want those. Um, Love that. Thank you know, you, you're going to have to come back because I didn't get to any of your questions. Okay. Um, and uh, wait a second. Wait. We're going to talk about this real quick. Okay. I have a surprise for you. What's the surprise? Did, you said you brought me a surprise. I brought you a surprise. What did you bring me? I don't know. Why don't you grab, where's your surprise? Mine's over here, hidden. All right. Behind my script. This is what I brought. This is what I the, brought. <gasps> you did Day. not. Karen Miller gave me this. This is the original. This, I can't believe you brought the Full House Cookbook. It's the Full House Cookbook. Now, t just tell the backstory of the Full House Cookbook. Well, what I think it is, because it's been a minute, um, I believe <laughs> those of us that were going to school on the set at the time, so that would be me, Jody, and Candace. Yes. I think the Olsons were too young at the time. Right. But um, yeah, we gathered recipes from the entire cast and crew, and so, everybody submitted their favorite recipe. Yes, or, here's yours, Andrea Barber's Simple Chicken and Rice. Oh, that's good. I what, eat that at least once a week. Bob Boyette's Sloppy Joe's. <laughs> Slo oh, well. Sloppy Joe's. That's that. Yeah. yeah you know. That's uh, okay. <laughs> Andrea Barber's sweet potato souffle. That's excellent for Thanksgiving, by the way. Here's the Olsen carrot and zucchini twins. Yeah. The, where um, is, have you found yours yet? Where's yours? I, I don't know where mine is. It's in, in the here. back. It's toward the back. It's toward the back. It's okay. before Bob Saget's egg and bread. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Dave Coulier's woodchuck fizzy. <laughs> Woodchuck. Here are the fizzy. ingredients: wood, one woodchuck, one woodchuck, and one glass with fizz. Okay. Instructions: Find a woodchuck and knock him out. <laughs> Dunk him continuously in a glass of fizz. <laughs> Look for discoloration. As soon as water is brown and fizzy, guzzle, burp, and be happy. <laughs> Return woodchuck to natural habitat. If dead, fry with butter and tomatoes. Serve over rooster droppings and have a nice day. And then brush your teeth. That's your recipe? Wow. Well, That's I'm sure I was just... That's uh, your contribution? Is Bob's funny? Egg and bread? I haven't read I haven't, is it. I haven't read it. I haven't made it. Uh, yeah. It's uh, put some butter or margarine in a pan and melt it. This... Don't let it burn. <laughs> Maybe you should do this step after step two. <laughs> Take a small glass of juice and two slices of fresh bread. Uh, push the glass firmly into the center of each slice of bread and turn it, making oh, a hole in school. each slice. Yep. Save the holes, dropping them <laughs> in the 
panda. I can't believe he didn't he go said, south. Save the holes. Yeah, I can't believe. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't go south on this. Put each slice of bread in the pan. Crack one egg into each hole. Add seasonings of your choice, salt, pepper, and curry powder, too, if you're in that kind of mood. Fry both egg and breads. Flip them over, hopefully not breaking the yolks of each egg. After a minute or two on medium, they're ready to eat. And what good eating they are. I can't believe this, he went... S- these he- are excellent excellent man this is snacks crazy. i'm trying to I'm find making a woodchuck cast. busy but i don't have i'm fresh out of woodchucks I'm though trying so to... i might have to <laughs> borrow yours <laughs> no yes look are... for discoloration <laughs> uh yeah i just uh, this was so amazing i thought this i was totally going to surprise you with i the thought i was going to surprise you oh wait i've got full house cookbook and one of my mom's recipes is just oh, randomly that, that, stuck in uh, here too um uh, um yeah, well, because I knew you didn't have a copy. You didn't have your copy. So I was like, oh, well, let me bring you mine. But wonderful Karen Miller. Yes. Bless her. She's so wonderful. She made said, you, you know, a when, copy. when Andrea comes on the show, I've got the Full House cookbook. Oh, well. That is amazing. Okay. Every episode of Full House had that heartfelt oh, yeah. scene. This is and great. And there's no exception here uh, for episode 18. So we've cut that scene out. Oh. Cut it out. I'll be playing the role of Steve. Mm-hmm. You'll be playing the role of DJ. Oh, okay. Pressure's okay. on. All right. Mm. Okay, here we go. There's a knock on the door. Who is it? It's Steve. Can I come in? Uh, yeah, I guess. You sure it's safe? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I uh, didn't want to make the wrong move and get creamed again. Well, I, um, you know, I've been here two days, and this is the first time I've ever been up to your room. Hmm. You're a busy guy. Yeah, well, my schedule kind of opened up, and I was hoping that maybe I could talk to you. To me? You want to talk to little old me? Yeah, uh, look, DJ, I was wondering why you clobbered me. Because I felt like it. Well, why'd you feel like it? Because I did. Well, why did you? Because I was mad at you. I was really looking forward to you visiting, and you didn't even want to go ice skating. I thought we could do stuff like we did last time. I miss the old Steve. DJ, I'm still the same Steve. No, you're not. The old Steve wouldn't have taken this long to come up to my room. DJ, I- I'm sorry. I-, I wasn't thinking. Look, but I'm here now. Uh, DJ, I'm still your cousin and I still love you, so don't you think we could try and be friends again? You seem so much older than me now. Well, I know it may seem like a big difference now because I'm 17 and you're 11, but you know, I'm when I'm 100 and you're 94, you'll probably even notice the difference. So? So? So, you want to start all over? Great idea. All right. I'll go outside and come right back in. <clears throat> okay. Da, da, da. Greetings from Baltimore. Hi, Steve. What happened to your braces, glasses, and zits? Um, all gone. Isn't nature great? <laughs> hey, I got a great idea. What do you say we go ice skating? Nah, that's for little kids. But if you really want to go... They high five and they hug. Oh, always just such a tearjerker. I that hope scene. you come back because you're a riot and I love you so much. I love you so much, Dave. Oh, man. Let's hear it for Andrea Barber. Yay. There's a thousand people out there clapping. Look at that. Oh my God. I can't even see that far. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, here's some of my observations about episode 18. Candace's brother, Kirk Cameron, was our guest star on this episode. It was great having Kirk on the show. Now, when he enters the living room in the opening scene, our in studio audience went absolutely wild. Now, the reason for that was. Kirk was already a big star on another sitcom for ABC called Growing Pains. Now, Growing Pains premiered in 1985, two years before Full House, and it instantly shot Kirk to major TV stardom. So it was really interesting to see Candace and Kirk interact on the stage and work their way through scenes playing cousins. I remember seeing their parents, Robert and Barbara Cameron, at the taping, and they were just beaming with pride. I think Barbara actually brought twice as many of her chocolate chip cookies to the set that night. 
Um, Kirk would go on to marry another one of our Full House guest stars, Chelsea Noble, who happened to be a former girlfriend of John Stamos. It just never ceases to amaze me how the Full House family just grew and grew and grew. We'd like to hear your thoughts about Full House. Tell us about your favorite episode or just why you love the show so much. Or maybe you got a question for me. Who knows? Send us an email with the link at socials at podco.us. We close every episode of Full House Rewind by giving all of you who need it a hug. This week, we send out a happy hug to all those families and friends that watched Full House together. It's those shared moments that bind us, and I just want to celebrate how wonderful that is. So here's your Full House hug from me. Come on, bring it in. Here we go. (laughs) All right, that's our show. We'd like to thank our special guest, Andrea Barber, for stopping by. Join us next time right here on Full House Rewind, and you can watch all of our episodes on our Full House Rewind YouTube channel. So long, everybody. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Full House Rewind. We'll see you next week.